Welcome Virgo and cross watchers. This is your general love reading for June 1st through the 7th. Virgo, it looks like somebody's hoping to have the courage to reconcile. So stick around. Let's see where this goes. Hello and welcome to Quartz Rose Tarot. Please keep in mind that all my readings are general readings and they will not resonate with everyone. They can resonate in reverse. Uh, if you are interested in booking a reading with me, all of my information is in the description box below. Uh, you can book a reading from my website at www.quartzrosetarot.com. Uh, if you are new to my channel, thanks for stopping by. Please don't forget to like, share, subscribe, and leave me comments. I like to read every one of them. Uh, also, if you're returning, thanks for returning. I really appreciate the love and support. So let's get in with this, guys, and see where it goes. Virgo, you're starting off your read with the star card, which is Aquarius. Uh, this is about um, hope for um, healing and success. So you're you're hoping here. Um, you need some strength or courage with Leo, and you want to reconcile something. You have the judgment card here. This has to do with a three of swords, um, a broken heart. You either have a broken heart or you broke somebody's heart um, because of juggling or possibly you're juggling with the two of coin. You're juggling your happiness. You're trying to figure out which makes you happier. What makes you happier? But you know you need to reconcile something here. Um, you have the Seven of Cups. This is uh, about illusions. This is also about confusion and options. Under that, you have the Eight of Wands. This is about communication, fast moving, fast moving wands flying, a lot of back and forth communication. Has to do with something that was hidden, some secrets, some illusions. Got Pisces, Cancer energy. You have uh, Leo energy. You have Leo energy here twice. You have Aquarius. You have Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. You have Virgo, Capricorn, and Taurus energy. You have Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio energy. I'm getting a secret. I'm getting a secret third party here. So you had a secret third party relationship. You're confused to communicate because of a secret third party. Ten of coins, something you were committed to. Something that had a lot of abundance. Queen of Swords, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, energy. Someone who's very calculated, strategic, doesn't show emotion, kind of cold. Um, yeah, it's kind of cutthroat. There's a deception here, though. There was a lot of lying, cheating, stealing going on. Someone feels very stuck up in their head about this. This is, you're not stuck. You're just up in your head about this. You you can get out of it. It looks like that sword's about ready to go up her butt. So nothing like having a sword in your ass. To get you motivated to move forward. You may have blocked somebody. This is about blocking, overcoming obstacles, or standing your ground. But you may be feeling stuck up in your head because you blocked somebody because you lied to them. That's what I'm getting here. Or she did. Does it, this this could be you in, in feminine energy being very strategic about something. Um, you could have blocked somebody that was watching the situation. So somebody could have been watching you. Somebody could have been spying. Somebody could have been watching the situation because they know you were lying. So they knew you were lying. So they were watching the situation because they knew you were lying. Well, I mean, if you give somebody a reason to doubt you, that's why that happens. You don't want to ever give somebody a reason to doubt you because they will watch and see. Watch it unfold, trying to gain a different perspective about the situation. And there may have been a passionate message. So this person may have found out something and they let you know it. <laughs> that's 
basically what I'm getting. Yeah. That's why you blocked him, because it was a passionate message. So, it could be you, Virgo. It could be someone you're dealing with. Looks like you wanted to work on something with the uh, Eight of Coin. This could have happened at work. This could have been about work. But you're working on something has to do with the Four of Wands, a foundation, celebration. Um, you have the Ten of Pentacles here. So, you could have been in a relationship and lied about it, but it caused this tower moment. This passionate message causes this tower moment. Something that wasn't built on a solid foundation came crashing down. Now, under the bottom of the deck, somebody's out in the cold. Six, I'm, I'm sorry, five coin. This is either out of financial lack or been ghosted. Uh, Virgo, you're coming in as the hermit, trying to gain some perspective, get some clarity, uh, wanting to move past the drama. Uh, you're wanting to work on something with the three of, of pinnacles. This also could represent a third party. Um, maybe you moved on with the third party. Out in the cold, gaining clarity, moving forward with the third party, possibly looking at the past. So you're looking at the past and you want to move forward. You want to you want to move forward quickly with that that chariot. You want to apologize for no equal give and take. You're coming in as the king of coin here. This is Taurus Virgo Capricorn energy. Uh, past life soulmate soulmate. Uh, this could be a um, somebody you've known your whole life. You could have children with this person. You want to speak the truth. You want to come back around and speak the truth about whatever the strife, jealousy, competition was because you have some regret here. And you know it's divine timing. This is divine timing. Yeah. At your discontent to balance out whatever toxic situation this was and come in and speak your truth. So let me recap this for you, Virgo. Virgo, it looks like you want to heal something and you need the strength to reconcile a broken heart. You're deciding what makes you happy. Uh, you are confused on how to communicate because there was secret, a secret third party situation with this uh, Queen of Swords that was deceptive. There was deception here. Um, you feel stuck in your head about this. You may have blocked somebody because they saw it happening. They saw your deception. They saw your deception is what my guides just said. And they got a different perspective and they spoke their truth to you. They had a passionate message for you. Um, you probably want to work on this relationship, but it caused the tower moment. And now somebody's out in the cold trying to gain clarity, wanting to move past the drama of the third party, looking at the past, wanting to move on and apologize. Uh, for no week will give and take. King of Pentacles, the kings wanting to do this um, with somebody from the past coming in to speak the truth about the the the, the competition, strife, and jealousy, um, having that regret, something that's divinely guided, divine timing, having discontent, trying to balance out whatever toxic situation it was, and speak the truth quickly, coming in to speak their truth that's a lot <laughs> that's a lot virgo um you do have it it's not saying anything about this queen of swords other than you that was who you were having this deception with but this isn't the person you're apologizing to this is the person that This is the person that you're apologizing to, whoever this is, whoever saw the deception, whoever saw the deception. That's who you're trying to heal this with, because you're trying to figure out which one makes you happier. This person or this person. Who would you be happiest with? That's what's what's what this is about. 
Interesting, Virgo. I'm going to take this to the extended. I will read you on one side, your person on the other. We'll see who you choose. Um, I will uh, get some Oracle cards on it and do a Celtic spread, clarify that for you. And like always, if this resonates with you, uh, please leave me a comment down below. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. And I will see you over in Vimeo for the extended.